I am heartbroken after that last result. But you guys are going to have to watch it back to see what happened in the last episode as I don't want to say anything about it. You might have guessed what it is as today we just need to generally put move on and quick. As yes, guys, welcome back to episode number eight of the Paris FC career mode, season number two. And you can see two is the lucky number for us as we sit second in the division, nine points behind Stead de Rems, who look like they're going to turn straight back and bounce into League 1 again because they are on terrific form. But there and then there is us, uh, yeah, nine points afterwards. The so two points after us, Dijon, Toulouse, who are three points after us, Amiens, who are... Quite a few there, six points behind, and then Clermont outside the playoffs a 10, because we got that victory against them last time out, which was a huge one, as we're going to go to the calendar here. And yes, the first game is against Dijon. If they beat us like they did earlier on in the season, they will leapfrog us into second, into the automatics. If we beat them, we have a five-point gap over them, and probably Toulouse will get closer to us, followed up by Chateau afterwards. So even if we do win against Dijon, got to back it up, Chateau. Then Dunkerque, I think I'm saying that right, but I might not be on the 26th of this month. On to Niort, uh, or Niori, I think it is, at the start of next month on the 4th. Then FCSM, who we seem to be playing all the time lately, who aren't on the best of form this year. And if you haven't seen the last episode, you'll see the news right there on the side of it. Crucial Toko Akambi goal seals Paris F D uh, FC defeat. Oh my days, I'm going to say PSG for a second there. As yes, it was heartbreaking as we got a loan straight away. 23-year-old now, Chugui, who hasn't gone up rating with his age. Disappointing. We'll be going to Girona, the second division I think they're in, in Spain. So hopefully he enjoys his time right there. As we must try and bounce back somehow against Dijon after extra time. At least we've had six days rest this time round. But it's going to be a difficult game. And let's see if we can bounce back straight away after that result. So we've got Adrian in goal. We've got Campanini. Bamba now operating. Manduki is going to go to the left. And Colleen now 80 rated at centre back. Of course, he's back from his suspension in that cup game. With Hanno back at left back. He was very good in centre back last game. Masengo, Name and Saida Rab over Dipperville. Who's a little bit tired from his decent performance with Laura. And Antiste, Janis Antiste, I've learnt his first name for once. I have done some research on my players. As let's go get into this first one against Dijon. And let's have a look at this away side. They have got a decent team, Dijon. I remember that. Five at the back with Racciopi in goal. I think that's different to last time. And Goya, Panzo, Amian, Gulbali and Vigarai at the back with Bertrand, Selina, Marie and Benzia with Asale and Pavaletti. No... I, th I forgot his name right now, but he isn't in the ben on the bench as well. It's like Gregorich. I think it's Gregorich that they signed the Austrian striker. No him in the lineup, so hopefully we can have a decent run. They did come from behind last time we played them, but still, that doesn't want to stop me from taking a lead. I will take a lead any day in any game, as long as we can keep hold of it this time like we didn't against these and Leon. As now Hanno trying to dribble back inside. He's lost the ball, the left back, and somehow given a foul away. Ref, that's a bit dodgy. Never a foul in my book, as now Masengo round the corner into Saiderab, now on to Antiste. As Antiste into Gatay and Lara, who's going to try and run it a little bit. Needs some support and gets it. Campanini. What can Campanini do right now? He cuts back inside as well. Gives it right onto Antiste. Antiste with a back heel. Looking for Masengo, but a tackle in the last minute. And is that a corner ball? I think it should be. And is, yes. Going to do a short one. And Masengo to whip this in as Gatay and Lara tried something different. It never usually works for us, but didn't work again. And Saida Rab right now, he's going to put a ball through right there. And Masengo had the run of Antiste, but opted for Hanno. But it does get to him right now. It had to go through Antiste, who came short for some reason. Can we get that into Antiste? Good pass around the corner. Slips him through. Great cut inside from Antiste. He's going all the way. He's Antiste, but he's lost the ball trying to beat another defender. And maybe that was a bit greedy from him and me, of course, as that has just stopped the move as they're going to try and come forward as well. It's Asalier, gives it to Benzia. Benzia, we've tried to put a tackle in and Marie with it now, still putting the pressure on. Still putting the pressure on, but chasing them down like shadows. And Masengo in the middle again, out to side, not a side, right? Hanno, 
Taking a side door. I'm trying to get him involved in the game. That's what we're going to say. We need to try and get Saeed unlocked. As he's got the ball right here. Antiste. Make that move through the middle. He needs to turn and run. He's turned and ran and shot and scored. It's 1-0 to us against Dijon. And that came in stages, didn't it? It's took a while. But we have been far the superior team this time at home. And we take another lead again. Just need to hold it. It's the number 26 who gets the ball just threaded through straight to him. Look at that. Turns. Gatay and Laura looked like he was going to try and run in there as well to get it, but doesn't. Antiste turns. Finishes. 1-0 against third place. Now Name gets the ball straight away as well. On to Gatay and Laura. If floodgates open in this game, what an event it would be, but I don't see that happening. As now it's on to Laura again and Antiste. Make that move. Go for that little gap. I see you making a move. As now he's going to try and cut inside, though. And he's going to try and go all the way, like he did before. But did be the last man, as it's a great save. And now it's a corner ball. 40 minutes, and I'm not going to try anything different this time. Whip it towards the front post. As the header's won by Colleen, but on the roof of the net. And Adrian with it now, as Adrian puts it over the top. He's looking for the player near uh, Vigarai. As that's a pass down the line, though, into Hanno. And Hanno now into Antiste, as Antiste into Laura. Laura into Hanno, and we've got a gap through the middle right here. It's through towards Antiste, but Antiste can't get there as Ratchiopi has it now in the goal, as we're just before half-time right here as well. Amian passing it forward, and that is the game. It is 1-0 at half-time. We could be doing a lot better, I'm not going to lie, finishing some chances, because I know they can come back in game, so... Let's try and get the lead. And Hanno running down the line straight in this second half. We need to try and get this lead as the ball straight to Antiste. Going to try and play a 1-2 through that gap and succeed to do so as Hanno tries to ball roll that as well and almost put the ball around the corner again, but we've lost it. It's Bertrand Salina or Bertrand's Salina as it's given to Bamba. Bamba out to Campanini. At least they've gifted us the ball back. And to be fair, I can't remember a chance they've had in this game to shoot. So that's a good sign of Saeed Arab. Let's unlock him, like I said, into Masengo. Back through to Saeed Arab. Good first touch. Can he strike? It's a good block from Armian. Player, of course, I had lined up to replace Colleen as we've got a bit of business to do here defensively. It's Campanini just trying to shadow him on the back. He's turned as Asalie. Asalie puts the ball in the middle. Marie round the corner. Benzia nutmegs Adrian. And we're level again with their first shot of the game. To be fair, it is a bit of a reoccurring thing, but it's just a shame when it happens, isn't it? Touches to the side and just threads it through. It isn't through his legs, actually, so at least he's got a little bit of dignity. But the team needs more. We need to be winning this game. That ain't good enough. One shot against us, one goal. I said we had to be more clinical, so come on. Let's try and do that, shall we? We've got subs as well. Yanis, of course, is sat on the bench. We've got Gurner on the bench. We've got Hadjam, who's had a couple of decent run-ins. Got Milloy, Dipraville. We'll have to make them as they've got another chance though. Pavoletti put a ball through to Konate right here as they made another change up front. So yeah, we definitely need to do. But Campanini to try and run down this line. Campanini cuts inside with a pass as well. Straight into Name's feet. Good pass as he's going to carry on. He's run down this right wing spot. It's really good work from Campanini. Can he get another pass into the middle normally? Into Laura. Steps up. Big shot and a big save. As Nicholas de Preville now replaces... Um, what's his face? I forgot it now. Um, not Saderab. Masengo. As Saderab drops back into the central spot. Do want to go a little bit attacking in my midfield because I do feel like we deserve to win the game. As here he is from central midfield. Saderab running through and go kind of a bit out wide. But he nutmegs the keeper this time. And that is a clean nutmeg as it is 2-1 to Paris. We will not fall defeat to a comeback. If that makes any sense what I just said. I don't know, but I know we have the lead right now in this game. It's a great run from Saeed. Cuts inside last minute on the angle, but still cleanly through Ratiopi's goal. Um, well, into his goal, through his legs, should I say. Look at that. Moves ever so slightly to make it perfect. As we've got eight minutes now left on the clock after that goal, and Yanis Saliba gives it to Hadjam, who's on the run. Go on, Hadjam. I would like another goal, but I'm not going to try and force it, but I'm going to go for a cross in towards the back post, and if he started running, that might have been a decent ball, as now may chest it down into Dipraville. Great footwork from him, usually, but not on that circumstance. We've got four minutes of this game to see out. Pavoletti as rounders into Canate, the striker. And don't let this be just a late shock, please. I don't want a draw. I want this gap over Dijon in the league. And it would be a huge gap if it can come through as Name makes the tackle into Hadjam. We've got a ball right here. It's through to Yanis and a defender's drop back. Of course, he has Koulibaly. 
as we've got two minutes of added time and that's all we need to see out. Look at the pressure we're putting on as well. I absolutely love this from all our players. It's Hadjam who gets there in the end. He's going to put it back all the way to Adrian to chest it. And that is the end of the game. It is a 2-1 win against Paris FC. A big 2-1 win and one I will cherish. Come on. As yes, that gives us that five point gap. But to lose are now the team that are to win and go above us if they get three points. I don't know about goal difference. So actually, they might not do. I might be just saying that as a stupid thing. As now, Chigui will go out on loan next window to Girona. Not straight away, but I don't think we'll need him if we go to the division above anyway. Even though we will need a couple of backup options, which I was hoping De Preville would take and the likes of him but of course they want crucial so still looking at his contract still don't know what i'm gonna do about it as we have 16th place chateau time to change the lineup as this is what i'm gonna go with we've got adrian in goal so still keeping it very strong with campanini bamba colleen manduki and hanno gurner comes into the midfield for masengo who gets a rest with name and saida rab just actually no i'll take him out give him a rest for milloy and future is on the bench, who's got a debut goal, of course. So the youth player is still in contention with Saliba and Antiste, of course, up front, giving a um, thingy a rest as well. Laura, who, of course, didn't have the best of... Well, he did have a decent game, but didn't score last game. So it's a striker's job to score. So he's coming out. As we're going to simulate this one, I've just decided it should still be a win with the team we have put out, as it is a 3-1 win. A very convincing one with Nami getting the goal. Gone Calves actually leveling up one one at half time, but Salibas brace. I just love that man getting us the win, and we keep on winning as Lea Iseka from Toulouse has grabbed Player of the Month. You can see why he's got bloody seventeen goals. If they don't get promoted, I'll have a look at him as they fail to win as a win as well. We've played the same amount of games, so yes, they've lost a game. We're still nine points behind Stade de Rems, who so just keep on. Absolutely flooding this league. But we have a six-point gap now over third place. That is massive. Especially going into the run we've got. We've got Njort, FCSM, and Dunkerque, who I think I'm going to play. Are they near the bottom of the league? They should be. They usually are. Yes, eight teams. So I'm going to change the lineup a little bit more as well. as Oh, we've got suspension to Name. I'm going to give this... Uh, game, well, I'm going to treat this game as an opportunity to play a couple more different players. As this is what I'm going to go with, Adrian Vargas. I'm going to select him, Jesus. There we go. Bamba, Colleen, Manduki and Hadjam. Gurner, Kamara and Fucha in Cam with Saliba. And Yanis Antiste up front again because their partnership seems like it worked. His top assister is Antiste. Of course, Saliba got two goals. I'm guessing they came from Antiste, who should be getting more goals for his liking. But honestly, if he's getting assists, I can let him off with it. So, let's test out these younger slash players that don't get many games. And it's a snowy day with Marvaral in goal right here. Who's the four at the back? Cuero, Cisse, Gomez and Thiam. With Rocheu, Dudoy, Pierre and Aguadello. With Zolzulia. And Diara. So yeah, 4 4 2 we've got right here. That bench, of course. It's got the long name player, damn it. Let's just get this result. As here we go. It's Dudoy on the ball straight away. Into Zozulia. Round the corner for Fantamandi. As Fantamadi tackled, actually. Fantamadi, not Mandi. As the ball straight into Kamara. And Kamara straight into Yanis Saliba. Who gives it on to Yanis Antiste. Not Yanis Saliba. Yeah, Yanis to Yanis. I just noticed that. They've got the same first name. Just spelt different as Kamara now. Has to come back. Gives it into Vargas. Vargas in the middle again to Antiste. Who tries to get it wide, but... Honestly, my mind's just blown that they've got the same name. It's not like the most popular one as well, as that's a fair tackle, ref. Come on. Axel Bamba is going to get pulled up on that, though, as now Diara with a chance to whip in a ball for the away side. Great header. Oh, went towards their player. And he's, he's given a penalty, has he? I think he's given a penalty. It must have been handball or something. What has he given it for? I'm still looking. I don't know what that was for. It wasn't handball. It wasn't a foul. And it's a chance for Dunkerque to take a lead as he hits the post. I guess justice is served because that was one of the weirdest penalty decisions I've ever seen in my entire life on this game. What has the referee looked at? Just mind-blowing. Can we even count from it? It hit the post as well. At least we dived the right way, but 
Again, Adrian does not look comfortable from the penalty spot trying to save them. As Antiste with the ball straight through to him. He's got the man in the middle and Yanni Saliba and the keeper just got there. It looks like he dropped it at first but gets the rebound. Unlucky right there as Rochi, who the penalty taker will be very, very upset right now on the ball. But they have honestly been really good, Dunkerque, apart from the penalty they didn't deserve as the first 20 minutes have belonged to them. Can we try and change that? Gurner, come on, this young team has to do better. Antiste, Saliba through. Yanis to Yanis. It's Saliba running through on goal. He's got the sweaty at the side. He goes himself and buries it in that bottom corner. There we go. That should be the game, excuse me, in our favour again as Yanis just ran through and put it in that bottom corner. Did it himself. It Look at that, straight through on goal, just running, just running, just running and bang. Near post keeper, possibly could have done better but it was left out to dry a bit. And Fantomadic with the ball right here in the middle of the park as he's tackled right there from Leo Colleen. Ball goes out almost half an hour into this one as Theam passes it back and that's going to roll, going to roll. No, it didn't go out as now Aguadelo. In the middle, it's a good little pass as he's around us right there. And he's got to run down this line, you know. Fanta Mendy turns inside, gives it to Aguadelo as we've missed the tackle on him there. And we're just trying to shepherd him a little bit more. Had jam. Oh, dodgy pass. But we do keep the ball, of course, with Colleen passing it straight into the middle. At least we've still got our workhorse at the back as Future is going to run through right here. First involvement he's really had as it's round the corner into Saliba. And Saliba, can we try and find a cross? Yes, we can can but I'm not going to force it as Vargas now in the middle into Gurner and Tiste find an angle but missed it and Kamara what can Kamara do right here himself he's going to try and cut back give it around the corner to Vargas as Vargas tries to turn back himself again into Kamara Kamara looking for another pass but Gomez this time intercepting as Zulia with the ball into Fantamendi Zol Zulia again into Rocheu Rocheo around the corner into Zolzia. We're just trying to put the pressure on them a little bit more. Because they have, they have been in this game, Dunkerque. Really been in this game. As that's around the corner. Fantamendi turns back. Has the ball. Good tackling on him here in the middle. Dodoy shot. Adrian saves. Header. Another big save from Adrian. So he's done the double right there. I mean, if the penalty would have been saved by him and not the post, he would be up for a lot of praise this game as a header away right there from Fantamendi on the edge of the box. Tries to put it around the corner. Can we get there? Kamara does. Hoof that Kamara up the field as there's the end whistle of the first half, of course. 1-0. Still half to go. And I won't say we're comfortable at all in this game. Just need to get his feet on the ground a bit. No changes made by me or my opponents in this game as well. As now Saliba... Pass trying to go through to him as Antiste was on the mark or off the mark. But still didn't roll to him as that ball's over the top. Aguadelo with the ball right here. It was a great touchdown as we put in the pressure on them again. Dunkerque not going to give up even though they are. Well, I can see why they're not giving up. They're in the relegation places. Of course as well, no relegation from our division in this game. But of course there would be in real life and that's what I'm trying to take. A bit of realism as they got through right there and dragged wide from the player right there, Kat Kateko. As now I'm going to take Kamara off as well and put Masengo on for us because we need just to sharpen up in the centre of a park a bit. And William Fucci right here on the ball as we're going to try and get one right there to Antiste. Antiste out to Hadjam as Hadjam gives it in the middle now to Antiste again and Saliba out to Masengo. Masengo looks to try and get it round the corner as now Dudoid gets the ball again. It's straight through to Kateko as Tried to put a tackle in right there, but couldn't win it. We've got 20 minutes on the clock. Dudoit again. Dunkeke pushing forward. And I don't like this. This man has had shots in this game as Kateko. As Bamba does read that one, though. And straight to Masengo. It was a good clearance. Straight to our player's feet as we're going to try and run. If we can get that ball through, it would be great. Antiste is kept on side from the left back who made a grave mistake right there. And he puts it into the side net in to guarantee us the win. Yanis FC. He does the Homer Simpson slash Mikel Antonio celebration as well in the snow, of course, trying to get all in that snow. Make the most of it as that is a great shot and made the most of that shot as Fuchs is going to come off. He's had his game today. Unfortunately, he's not going to be scoring two out of two. The 22, as we're just going to carry on from this mark. It's round the corner. Colleen reads it, though, and straight on to Vargas as it's through to Masengo. Masengo again through the middle. How... And uh, uh, how? How is Saliba on side? I have no idea. Not going to sweat it again, but hit the keeper. That was actually a poor shot. I can't believe he was on side as Gurner now has the ball into Saeed Arab. Saeed Arab trying to 
try and get an angle as can we make this three? I think game is over now. They're pushing forward a bit more, which is a stupid thing to do when it's 2-0 because you're going to concede more goals. Antiste gets another and the crowd goes wild. It's a great ball around the corner. Campani is going to come on right now as well to wrap this game up defensively as I want a clean sheet. Adrian's deserve one. But they haven't. 3-0. And Adrian at the end of the game on the ball right here. He's telling his players to go a bit slower. So he almost went into Colleen there. Very, very poor. Manduki to whack it though. And there's the end of the game. 3-0 against Dunkerque. It looked like it was on ice a little bit at the start of course. Well, literally on snow. <laughs> that it is. But we got there in the end. Antiste shining through everyone to be the breakout star. And get us that six point gap back. And now I'm back from suspension as, yes, there is that gap, 59 points to 53. Very, very nice indeed. Some teams win the Premier League on like 70 points, so although it's a bit unlikely, I'm happy by that fact. As before we go into the rest of the games, I'm here looking at my academy and we've added some players to it. That guy's coming straight out. You slip through. I don't know how, as you have as well, Dario Stockley, but we've got some good ones. Look at this guy, Jonas Bauman, 64 rated. 15 year old that's the new switzerland scout that's gone out the swiss scout he looks like he might have found an absolute gem right there for a couple of seasons some of the others want too bad as well as we have neot next and do we change the team up again where are these in the league these are 14th and i don't know who else we play and where the other team is fcsm i think they're below that yes yeah, 17th just above the relegation jesus it's going wrong for them this season so we'll play this one. Then we'll simulate the one against um, FCO, FCSM. God, it's hard to say. As this is the team I'm going to power. Adrian in goal is going down a rating now. Of course, I might plan on moving him out in the future. As Campanini, Bamba, Colleen, Manduki and Hadjam. That shouldn't be there. It's going to be Hano right there. Masengo, Name and Saidrab with Lauren and Tiste. Let's go. And I've missed the lineup for Niot, as we'll have to go through this way again. I don't like doing this, but we will do. As Lequet, Muchai, Paro, Conte, and Wong uh, Yongwa with Dukansi, Koliaipiu, Luciere, Kemen, Libio, and Sissoko. And Gatay and Lara with the ball right here up front as he tries to get the pass off straight away. As he's talking about Stad Direms right now. Actually, they've only got a six point gap, so they must have drawn a game. In the meantime, so there's a gap between Toulouse and us, which is six points, and a gap between us and Top Spot, which is six points. Actually, it'll be four points between us and Toulouse right now because they do have a lead. But still, to say it's us very much cemented in second place and we are looking behind us, we could actually look in front right now as Adrian. Oh, my day's in danger. And these do actually seem a bit of a decent team as Kemen tackled right there, though, into Name. Name into Laura straight away, and Laura into Antiste, and Antiste with a great pass down the field to Name, who's back from his suspension, what can he do? I'm gonna pass it back into Laura, into Antiste again, down the wing to Saidarab right now, as he's gonna get it round the corner, into Hano, Hano to put it across the box, into Name, who tries to finish it off as well, so we've actually had a chance right there, after Niort have actually done pretty decent at the start of this game, as Luziere with the ball right here as well, and Adrian's been beaten from that! He's made a great save earlier on, but they have just beaten us with that shot. It's 1-0 to Niort at the start of this game. And I don't know how that's happened. Great finish as well as, look at this, tries to cut back. Still has the ball. Still has the ball. Bang! Over the keeper. It's, it's a bit humiliating, that one, but still, we have to move. 1-0 Niort. I said they were a decent team, but that, that's just shocked me, that has. That's really shocked me. With our better team out as well, they've actually come out... Really, really kicking with life as it's going to be hard to win. Toulouse will be licking their lips and Stade Rams with the gap they'll get at the top of the league as Saidarab turns out right there and gives it into Masengo. Can we get straight back level? Great ball from Masengo. Laura! That is poor from him. He's not been good recently. Really has to finish that off as now Antiste through the middle. He's going to try and get this ball over to Name as Name now turns as well. That's another ball to Laura and this time he can't afford to miss, can he? Tries to cut back inside again but just fails to do so. He's supposed to have 80 plus pace as well as Sissoko into Kemen. 
Just a disappointing half all around. Very, very humiliating for us. We should be doing a lot better, especially after the wins we've got all episode long. As now Conte, we're putting the pressure on him. Duncanse round the corner. Masengo chasing on us. Sissoko has it. Sissoko with a turnout through the middle to Luziere, the goal scorer. And a foul right on the edge of the box here for Koyalipu. Kalepu as we've got to try and stop this going through as it's over the top, just over the top of the net as well. As we're going to put this out wide straight away. And Hanno with it as Hanno's going to try and go down the line. That's a terrible pass, but it is half time. 1-0 to Niort, and I'm telling you what, something has to change. We cannot have this being the outcome at the end of the game, as this half needs to be a lot better, but they're starting off the better a little bit right here. Kemen, the pass to Dukansi. He's around the corner into Sissoko, as that's straight into Masengo right there, and this is when we break. We need to take the most of these attacks. This is miles off. It's miles off. Hit that first time, because you are absolute... He don't even hit it. But it was miles off. It's now Ibnu Bar who's come off the bench with the ball. Straight into Lucia. He gets it back, but can't get past Colleen, which, speaking of Colleen, to be second in this league at 80 rated, he should be carrying us better than he does do. I am so mixed on that youth player. So we're going to get it down the line as well. Straight into Campanini. Campanini, ready to run. What can he do right here? The right wing back tries to cut inside himself, and he wanted to do it himself because he knew Laura. Could not last time out as Masengo misses that header as well. Niort really wanting this win. And Masengo with the ball right here in the middle to Saidarab around the corner. Good little bit of passing right there as now Laura with a flick on behind him into Antiste. Can we get this out wide? No, we can't. It's gone straight for the middle for some reason. But Arab picks up on it and loses it again as we've got 18 minutes. And we just want to level this up as it stands. We do not want to be losing this game as Leo Colleen makes a challenge. He's going to pass it to the side of him, but not as well because it's straight to their player. As Name picks up on a loose ball straight away as well. And Antiste, Antiste doesn't miss, does it? He doesn't have any skill moves as well because that is one of the worst skills I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know his star skill move. And now I know it's not even three as that was a terrible turn as Colipu picks up the ball over the top as well. He's got to run through this middle and we need to try and get a tackle in right here because he's cut back inside into Lucieta. I thought I took him out for a penalty as he drills it wide. Duncasi and Campanini to run with the ball right here as he's intercepted by the player who's just come onto the field, I think, as we've got literally nine minutes. Can we get forward? Name loses it. Why? Why did he fully lose it and not get it back straight away when he had the chance as Kemen round to Bar? Bar with a great turn. It's through one-on-one -on -one for Lucier. Big save from Andrian to give us a bit of a lifeline, but still we've not done well enough offensively to try and get this win. As that's a good pass though, and Antiste through the middle. Saliba, Yanis to Yanis. Could work straight off the bench. It's Antiste, it's off the crossbar, head that in. Oh, and it's end to when they've missed a one-on-one. -on -one. And we miss a one-on-one, -on -one, which gives us the chance to level the game. Huge miss from Yanis Antiste. And I think that's going to cost us the game. Colleen gets it away. Straight to Antiste again. Doing Cassie with a pass around the corner, but doesn't work out as ref just blow this whistle. Ref just blow this whistle. We're going to try and get a tackling right there. Colleen. And there we go. Just, just put us out of the misery. It couldn't have been more than one as we lose 1-0 to Niort away from home. First time we've played away from home in a while in this career, I think. In game, that is. And we're made to pay the price. The gap will decrease between us and third. And yes, the gap is three points, so that's not done us any favours as we play the last game of the episode. Ten points now between us and Stad de Rems. That is shocking as it's FCSM. And alone for William Fuchs Middlesbrough. Always, and I mean always, want a cam on this year's FIFA. Always want my youth cams. They wanted... I think it was night in my West Ham career. So I'm going to put out a one-year loan, of course, like you just saw me do. Hopefully, he doesn't stay out permanently. And let's see if we can win this last game against FCSM. So I'm going to go with the same team. It needs to redeem. That rhymes. So it's perfect. As yes, it's fully fit. Yes, it should get the result. But will it in the end? I want to be in these automatic spots. Please, not back-to-back -back defeats with this team. As it is, and it's a win. A last-minute one as well. Saeed Arab with the eighth-minute goal. Sands with one for them. And Dipreville to win us the game with a minute to go. Great stuff in the end. As we've got the um, delegation agreement. The yes, they're going to accept the one-year loan. So that's better than Dharma start. So I will accept that. And we will end the episode right here with our place it's still confirmed as second. Five points now over to lose. So they've bottled it. They had a chance to get back. Stadio Rems have bottled it as well. It's eight points they've drawn. And I think Toulouse have drawn as well. So we've got our gap back. Come on. 
that game against Nyon never existed as it says Jaco uh, Tra or Trois, I think it's pronounced Chambly bottom of the league half who have disappointed this season and Ajek before the end of the episode or the end of the season should I say the episode after that so thank you guys for watching this one hopefully the background will be a little bit different to like next time you see me get my words out as yes thank you all for watching like comment share and subscribe with the notification bell as well so I will see you all in the next one take care in a bit and peace.